So it's about five o'clock Tuesday night. This is officially Ted's last night at this yard. Um, I'm just gonna clear up the hay and straw section because that's empty now and then bring him in and go from that tomorrow. to riding with Ree. As you saw, this video is all about moving day. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process of us moving out of the old yard and into the new yard. And whilst we do that, I'm actually gonna answer some of your questions around moving the yard. So talking to Ted's owners, the cost, how I found the yard, etc. First, you can see there that I did the hay section and straw section the night before, got that all cleaned up and also cleaned the front. Obviously it's DIY, so everyone has their own section. So I was just emptying out this box of treats because there was only a tiny bit left and I want to put spare feed in this so I can give it to another livery. Um, but I ran out of space in all of my other treat boxes so instead I've left the rest of them on here for Ted to come and find tonight. Little trail of treats in his last night. I've just emptied out the final feed bin and poured the rest into this little bucket for another livery. I'm gonna try and find a way to get her that as well. But yeah, that is now the feed room pretty much done. Just need to clear it up. Good morning, it's moving day. I'm just in my car, I just got to the yard. It's about 7.15 right now. Um, plan today is to turn Ted out, sort out his stable, clear his box, start like clearing things up, I guess. I did the feed room in the hay store last night, as you saw, and then get Ted in, um, sort him out, and then get him up to the new yard. I have lots of questions from you from Instagram about this, so I'm gonna answer them as we go along and just show you the whole moving day process. The first one um, was, will I ride? Oh, sorry, no, the first one I keep getting is, am I gonna be able to film my videos? Yes, is the first thing I asked the new yard owner, could I still film my YouTube videos? Um, and they completely understood it's a big thing for me and it was fine um obviously there are protocols in place i'm being really careful about who's in it i don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable etc but yes i'll still be filming my videos um the second one was is my full livery going to include riding so no i'm going to do all of the riding the whole point of having him on full livery is so that i have more time to ride so my livery package won't include any riding from anybody else just me um right let's go and get ted out in the field and crack on with this cleanup process Hey, store's done. Good morning. Hi, my darling. Hey, little sweetie pie. Good morning. Hi. Is it moving day? Are you excited? It's like I don't know what you're talking about. You need to go out in the field for a few hours. Let's do it. Gosh, look at that sunrise. What a way to end our time at the yard. Beautiful. Beautiful Teddy, just like you. You are my sunrise, aren't you? Heading out to the field. So the other question I got asked was around price. So DIY is at one end of the spectrum of livery prices and full livery is sort of at the other. With DIY, you're just paying for the rent of the stable and then everything else you pay for yourself. So feed, hay, straw, etc. Whereas full livery, you get packages where you get your stable, you get your hay, your bedding, your feed included often. And then you also get um, care for the horse. So it's definitely more expensive in that sense. And actually, if you haven't seen the Instagram account that I set up, it's called Equestrian Money Diaries. And I share anonymous costs from a bunch of horse riders all over the country, all over the world. Um, and it gives you an idea of different costs, but this is definitely at the more expensive end. And then within full livery, you have several price ranges. So you have what we have, which is full care, but no riding. Um, so that I can do all the riding and then you have like competition packages so you have full livery for a horse and then you the people at the yard will also ride that horse sometimes compete that horse for you as well um, so that might be someone who wants a young horse to get some experience out competing but they don't feel comfortable doing it themselves so it's definitely more expensive but from the people I've spoken to about full livery before I chose this what you sort of you lose in your money you make up for in the lack of stress and knowing that your horse is all good and sorted so yeah look at that sky Are you ready mr ted put him out in the field one last time have a day with your friends and we'll come pick you up later yeah <laughs> right back up to clean out his stable and whilst we're walking somebody else asked me why i opted for seven day livery instead of five day livery so that would be five day livery would be someone who looks after your horse so mucks out um turns out brings in 
rug changes, picking out their feet five days a week, and then you do the weekend. And the first reason is this yard only offers seven day delivery, so it was a sort of no brainer. But secondly, I guess my job, I do work weekends quite often, or I have things I need to do before I can ride or after I need to ride. And I just thought, you know what, it's better to just have him looked after every single day, 365 days a year. That way his routine is set and he doesn't change. And even if I have to work or I have to be away or I need to ride at a different time, he can, his, his routine stays the same and he gets the best care all year round. And it stops me having to worry about, you know, not having those two days covered. So for me, it just made sense to cover it all. And then, yeah, someone else asked me if I would ever do his care. Um, so like if I would ever muck out if I wanted to, Honestly, I'm not really sure. I think from, I've been a groom on a full livery yard before and sometimes it can be more of a hindrance than a help when owners want to kind of chip in with the work because you have a routine, you have a system, you might only have a set number of tools and it's just easier for you to do it yourself. So I probably won't interfere with the care. Of course, I'll still do all the grooming and everything, but I probably won't jump in um, and muck out and stuff because I think it's more, more annoying for them, honestly, if I do that. But um, I'll certainly be involved in turning out and catching in. I do this every time we walk up this little slope and I can't talk and walk. All right, let's go and do the stable. So I want to talk a little bit about how I chose this yard and just bring an analogy from when I used to work for a luxury fashion company. And my boss told me about how people go about choosing really expensive items like diamond rings, diamond watches. And she was saying, you know, you might have someone visit the website like three times and then they might have a break and then they might visit in store and speak to someone. Then they might speak to someone who already has it and then they might go back to the website. And it takes so many touch points to make a final decision. And I think this it was the same for me um, and choosing this yard. I'd known about this yard for a really, really, really long time. Um, I think before I even got Ted, I looked at all the yards in the area. Um, and what they offered and what the kind of landscape was and used it to do my um, money video, which you might have seen. And then I've been up at this yard doing competitions and clinics and various other things. And every single time that I visit, I have been keeping an eye on how the team runs the yard, how they deal with the horses, um, and not saying anything about, you know, being a potential livery, but I've been so impressed with the way that they deal with them. And Ted seems really comfortable up there. That is the stable done. I'll just let that dry and definitely not been watching Gossip Girl while I do it. Hi Molly! In the summer I went for a tour up there and yeah and just had a look around and saw what it was about just so that I could then have that conversation with Ted's owners. So I've just started to put everything that's cleaned and ready in his stable so that we can run through it, me and his owners, um, in a little bit and work out what we're taking what we're keeping. Just popping the rugs away for storage here. So yeah, Ted's owners and I actually, initially they wanted him to stay at his current yard, but she actually ended up coming to me and saying, look, if you do want to move to this particular yard, like we're okay with it. We know people up there. It's the same distance from our house as this one. We can go and visit him. It's a really nice yard. And if you're comfortable, we're comfortable. And that was really nice. So we chatted through everything, um, spoke about it. And then they were involved in the moving day as well. And they were up there with me, popping him to bed. And they know they can go and visit him anytime. And I think that was really, really important to them. Just made this note and this will go in the top of the bag so that we always know what is in there and in what order. Just make things a bit easier for storage. And that is turn out rugs, done. So I bought this second hand little grooming box. Ooh, it's got a little divider section and I'm hoping it's gonna be where we can store everything that currently lives on the shelf. So it's easier to keep it all together. And I've got my inventory here which is going to have all the bits and bobs in it so the next questions i had were around lessons and hacking as part of my coaching package i have one lesson a week with ted and the hacking in this area is pretty amazing so i'm super excited to show you the gopro footage i think generally at this yard a lot more people go out with their horses competing training so we should be able to have a lot more days out and i do actually have a goal with my instructor of doing a one day event next summer so we're building up to that in a cool way so this is ted's new box just got a few bits to drop off. Here's his stable. Everything's ready for him. Very exciting. This is the barn. I will do a full yard tour in the next video, but that is a first look. So, Ted and I just riding up through the wood at the moment. Nearly there, it's about half three, so we're trying to get there before it gets super dark, but 
So we're about 25, 20 minutes away now. And his stable's all ready for him. So yeah, moving in day is nearly complete with the most important item. Of course, we're wearing all of our high vis. You probably can't see, but he has his high vis exercise sheet on as well, which is from Equisafety. I bought mine on Equus. Of course, you can get 10% off if you buy yours on Equus or anything else on Equus with the code BARD10. And they do free shipping in the UK as well. Incredible view. What do you think, Ted? They are funny, aren't they? They really don't, really not bothered. Head is all tucked up for the night. He's super chilled, super happy. You a good boy. And there we are. That's it. So there you have it. Ted's all moved in, super relaxed, super chilled. What a long day. I'm really ready to go home for a cup of tea now, but um, next week I'll be doing a full yard tour. So make sure that you watch and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Just thought I'd throw in some footage from our first ever day riding in the indoor arena here. Stay tuned for the full yard tour. See you next time. <laughs>